December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. people everywhere march with you. Met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more Lord of the Rings Online and our man Captain Playthrough. Hope everyone's doing well today. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and deciding to spend a few moments of your day with me. We are over in Lothlorien. We have a few quests to do here today. We're going to we're going to continue the uh, chapter seven of uh, our book seven actually, uh, which is the Leaves of Lothlorien, and we need to go talk to. Uh, Mary over, uh, I think he's just south of where we are now, yeah. He's over here in the woods, uh, and then we also need to go up here and pick up these other quests that we did not pick up last time. So without further ado, let's get started. Greetings. If you have a moment, I have need of your assistance. Shapes from Shapelessness. May your path be ever starlit, friend. Welcome to Seren Amra. Do you not find the beauty of this place inspiring? Your pardon, I am Favoromway. A statue carver from Karas Galadron, and I am Galadron, Galadron, Galadon. Anyways, I am here to listen to the trees and try to translate their lovely whispers into shapes that will last. Have you time to spare? I must build up a stockpile of wood and stone to work with. If you wish to help, you might fetch me some. Head east into the forest, and then northeast, always, always to the grove of Saren Berithel. There you will find birch wood which can be gathered, workable stone that can be readily found in Gwast, well to the east of here and along the banks of the Anduin. Right? Sweet light, Rondia. Stay a moment and speak with me. Elisar and Umduil. My name is Tuilin. What are you called? Bredos? The name is familiar. Are you a friend of Aragorn, son of Arathorn? Ah, yes. You helped, uh, you helped reforge Narsil from its shards. It is a pleasure and an honor to make your acquaintance. I remember when all of us here at Karen Amrath once greatly doubted his fitness to our court of sweet... to court our sweet Umdoyel. Um, but I am sure you know the tale of their romance. What you do not, I suppose, with Elisar's being as close as he is, uh, it is not all that surprising. Nevertheless, if you are interested, you should certainly learn the tale. It is sweet indeed. All right. So we need to actually sell a few what things business here. With the Lord and Lady? That's not going to help me. You're not a vendor. And I don't need anything from you. Okay, let's head back down. A few quests to pick up over here. Oh, I meant to fix my um, settings here and I forgot. My key bindings are all off. Melan the Thor. A shadow falls beyond Lothlorien, against which we must be prepared. Maberthel Saplings. Magal Venon, Captain. My, I am Melan the Thor, one of the wardens of the revered, revered woodlands of Seron Aram Amaroth. I am, I and my fellows have accepted the solemn charge of custodianship. We ensure that the forests are not thrown out of balance. A problem has come to my attention. Within the last few decades, a particular birch, the Malberthil, has not been seen as often as in, past, as in days past, and when it is sighted, the sapling seemed spidely and overly delicate. Spindly and overly delicate. I want you to find and examine some of these saplings. If you would, that might de if you would, that we might determine the cause of their malady. malady. I would suggest heading east and then northeast once you are past a low white cliff. Greetings. If you have a moment, I have need of your assistance. Stark colors. Megovenin, friend. I am Menasil. 
how fare you and where whither you go whither go you i i am here to gather some of eleanor that grows so brightly upon this hill and extract the juice from its stem and heart that makes a marvelous golden yellow color the creation of pigments and paints is an art unto itself and nearly as engaging as the uses in which i and my fellow artists put them Unfortunately, it is time-consuming. Unless you have some time to aid me, it would be most appreciated. You have not the knowledge to, of refining raw ingredients, but you could help gather them. Stark white chalk can be pried from the soft white rocks along the rock face north of here. Berries from some of the local plant life provide the base for the vibrant red dye. These bushes grow in the relative abundance in the forest west of Cam Amaroth. All right, so we have quite a bit to do here today. Let's get started. All right, let's go find Mary first. I think I want to, I want to go ahead and finish that. And then, or go ahead and move forward with that. He's down here. I think he said he's in a garden down here. I wish my Herald rode on a horse along with me. That would be cool. There he is. I did not think to run into you here. I can tell you that. Ring bearers respite. Well, hello there, Bredos. I'll have to admit, I did not think of running you in, of running into you here in Lothlorien. In Lorien. Uh, you are on the wrong side of the mountains, aren't you? Aren't we all? Mary's face lights up as he laughs long and loudly. Pippin is around here somewhere. Taking a nap, I believe. No, I wouldn't wake him. Well, we all have plenty of time to catch up, I imagine. Lothlorien is so peaceful. It's hard to remember how hard our road has been and how... And how hard a road will be and has been. I wonder if you might track down Boromir. He doesn't seem to be having as good a time here as the rest of us. I think he is impatient to get going again, but maybe seeing you again will cheer him up. The last I saw him was northwest outskirts of the great clearing which is Karen Amroth Rises. Another quest here. Hail, what brings you to Lorien? Gladly, I will share what I know of the tale of Aragorn and my dear little Arwen. Aragorn, called Elisar, after the green elf stone given to him by Lady Galadriel herself, was just shy of his fiftieth year and still a brash youngling. He was weary, having been fought long fighting and traveling throughout many kingdoms, and had stopped in Lorien on his way back to Rivendell from the borders of the Black Land of Mordor. The Lady of the Golden Wood insisted that he cast off his ragged traveling apparel and dressed him in silver, white, and elven gray, such that he appeared more uh, than a man, nearer, than, nearer to an elf lord, than the Isles of the West, tall and stern. At that moment, Arwen Umdoriel, Un, Undomiel, uh, the Lady of Imladris, saw him again for the first time in nearly thirty years. At that moment, indeed, was her choice made, to follow, await, love, protect, and honor Elisar, and share with him the doom of men. They had built a brief session, they, uh, they had but a brief season to wander together through the woods and glades of Lothlorien. The hill of Saren Amroth was their most particularly beloved place, and that was where they wandered barefoot through the blossoms of the Nephrodil and Eleanor, and there it was that they pledged their they finally plighted their troth and sealed their fate. Alright, so we're learning about um, Aragorn and Ar Arwen. Okay, we Okay, let's go over here. We'll work our way back. Boromir's up here. We'll work our way back around this direction, and then we'll head over this way. We need to collect the berries for uh, the Dark Colors quest. And the chalk. I like these little, like, um, seedlings or whatever the pollen things are blowing in the wind.
ran through it. I was like, wait, why can't I pick it up? I don't think I can collect Ilex branch. I can't. No, I can't. I don't think so. Really? I don't need this rock. I'm just going to collect it to sell. I need to clean out my inventory as well. Uh, okay. I need to go this direction. be above me. Yeah. Oh, I see it up there now. Sweet Ron. Oh, here we go. Mago Venom, my good captain. I am Pen Pen Asef. Uh, though I am sometimes called the keeper of stories, and have you heard that? Have you a tale to share? Ah, a tale of request, a tale to request, and nonetheless that of Aragorn and Arwen. Wonderful. I first met Aragorn when he was a very small child under the care of Elrond Halfelven, with whom I was, I too was staying. His mother, Gilran the Fair, brought him to thither to live. Brought him thither to live when he was, when he was but two years of age. His father, Arathorn, had been having recently killed on the campaign when an orc arrow pierced his eye. Estil, as Aragorn was then known, was a sweet child, serious and intelligent, with no awareness of his kingly lineage. He would not be given that until his twentieth year, and we all dotted that upon him. Since, that, since, its, since its occurrence during the Elder Days, we have sung of the great romance of the man Baron One Hand and the elf prince Luithin, Princess Luithin, also called Tunvil or Nightingale. I tell you this because I know the first time Elisar set eyes upon the beautiful Undomiel, he was singing of Baron's first view of dancing Luithin, clad in silver and blue, dark-haired and a gem-crowned. Just then, Arwen, clad and bejeweled in nearly the same manner, walked before him. Believing himself the recipient of a vision, Aragorn called out, just as Baron had, Tunvil, Tunvil, is this not a sweet tale? Is that not a sweet tale? No. He had never met her before, despite the fact that she was Elrond's child. Why? It is simple. She had been living here in Lothlorien, but this is the land of her mother's kin. Okay, so Arwen's from Lothlorien. Got it. Alright, so now let's go find Boromir. Yeah, here he is. It is most Great. strange to see you here. Has Eriador been made safe already? Bredos, it is most strange to see you here. The last time I saw you was at the night Elrond and Rimadeltra entrusted you to continue the defenses of Eriador. And that is the land so is that land so safe already? Boromir sighs and squares his shoulders again. I am sorry, Bredos. My words were born of frustration, not of dislike. Every hour we spend in idleness, here is an hour in which the shadow draws closer to my city. I have seen little of Aragorn, and even less of Gimli. The dwarf seems to have gotten over his distrust of elves easily enough, even though he is now off with Legolas atop one of the trees at the crest of the hill of Saren Amram. Speak to him and see for yourself. Okay, so this is just like an errand. It's basically just running around, talking to everyone. I 
I need to run over here and collect the chalk. I know where Gimli is. He's up in the tree where we turned this in, so. Oh, there it is. White, lock, white rocks all along the cliff here, I guess. So. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. I've got to fix that. Still messed up. Okay. All right, here's the last one. Now we need to collect birch wood and stones. That bird. Yep, that bird's chasing me. There we go. Oh, Brados is, or, uh, Harold's going to get him. I saw this Lynx. Again, I'm standing on top of it, but it will not let me pick it up. Currently, I'm just playing the free version, or well, the, what we call the premium version, because I was a subscriber and a beta tester back in the day. Um, I'm not playing the VIP version, so I don't have the, the mobile mailbox and bank like I had before. Let's talk to Nairus here. What brings you to Lothlorien? Megovanen, I am Nairus, keeper of the historian of Galadrim. I have memorized and lays in poems of lineages and herald the heraldry and the great martial and political deeds of our people. How may I be of service? Ah, I see a tale of recent days then. I have read a tale recorded by Elrond Halfelvin of the solemn discourse he held with his son 
with the son of Arathorn, 15th chieftain of the Dunedain, the lord of Imladris, and had read the heart of Aragorn and, and seen a newborn love there for Arwen. He told Aragorn of the great doom that awaited him. Either he would rise above his lineage since the days of Elendil the Tall, uh, Elendil the Tall, father of Isildur, or he would plunge into darkness with the remnants of this kin. Also, in that many years of trial that lay before him, he would neither take a wife nor bind a woman's troth to himself, until he should be found worthy of doing so. Elrond further warned Aragorn that the evening that the even star of her of her people is too far above him, and that he was too young for her. He explained how the long life and youth of Eldar were hers, of Eldar were hers, while her father stayed there, and that she would be able to follow him into the west whenever he, when he should go. Were she to have chose to bind herself to a mortal, her doom would be bleak, her life shortened. She would never marry a mortal unless he was both king of Arnor and Gondor. The next day, Aragorn, son of Arathorn, took his leave of his mother, Gilrain, and the last and left the last homely house to go forth into the wilds. He was soon, however, seen once more here in Lothlorien. It is an abiding sorrow to grief and grief to many of us that young Arwen will not come to us, will not come with us when we go. Now I tire. Hold this tale close to your heart. Consider it. Learn from it. Farewell, patient man. Okay. And we gotta go over here and collect some stones. And then we'll head back to uh, Sarah and Amroth. Don't attack me, dear. I don't have anything to do with you. In the way, piglet. So, time to move. We gotta remember to hit number nine. Uh, Got to hit Grave Wound because that's a deal, a, a dot that I need to put on. Them. These guys aren't giving much XP, but hey, it's something. Alright, right, there we go. Five stones, and let's head back. Dawn Rose. Oh, it's a, it's a jewel. There's a milestone. Where's the nearest milestone? Maybe in Karaskadron? I know there's one over here. 
That's where mine's set currently. Oh, excuse me. Dear. Welcome back. Ah, oh, these will do, Brados. These will do very nicely. My heartiest thanks. In fact, turn your face a little towards the light and hold there. Hold still. Perhaps I have found my inspiration after all. Welcome to the Golden Wood. May we speak? Oh, really? That's a daily? Oh, man. I don't do that. By Durin's beard, I did not expect to see you again so soon. Uh, I'm glad to be surprised. Legolas has been showing me the woods of Lothborian and the majesty of these trees, so I like the stone so I so like to stone carved pillars beneath the mountains fills this door for the mage. But even in a land of marvels, its lady is its greatest of all, greatest one of all. Still, I am ready to return now to the ground. If you ask me, the trees are best admired from below rather than up among the branches. We are just about to search for more patrolling orcs. Why not come with us? Legolas and I were just about to take another walk among the trees of Loch Boring in search of, patro uh, search of patrolling orcs, Bredos. Why don't you come with us? What do you think, Legolas? Is there still room in our party for a third? Surely Bredos will enjoy seeing the beauty of the wood, and possibly hewing an orc or three will only sweeten the appeal of such a tour. I would be delighted if you were to join us. The beauty of Lothorian is best when shared, though we must remain alert. We must all remain alert, even when walking among the trees of Lorien, where the orcs of Moria have come down from the Nadhurian and are able to sneak past the borders on occasion. Let me know when you're ready to go. Are you ready to go? It will be my pleasure to walk the woods with both of you and Gimli, and we will search too for orcs that have slipped past the bounds. Alright, so another solo instance. Though the memory be now dim, of old, Elves and dwarves were close in friendship. Legolas of Mirkwood and Gimli the dwarf, through shared hardship, have rekindled the old bonds. Even now they look for orcs to slay beneath the eaves of Lothlorien. Okay. What can I do for you? Are you ready, Bredos? It is, it is possible that no further orcs have crept beyond the borders, but if any have, we must be prepared to battle. Come then, I will show you the way. This way, my friends. What are you shooting at, Legolas? Uh -huh. Ah, orc. Save some for the rest of us, Legolas. You and Bredos will have your chance, Gimli. This orc was just a scout. Good, here they come. Press on. May the remnants of this troop still be in the wood. There may be remnants of this troop still within the wood. It 
Saddens me to see even a few of these orcs in the golden wood within the golden wood. My axe delights at it, but this dwarf is saddened for your sake and the sake of the lady. What do you say, Gimli? Do your dwarf eyes detect more orcs nearby? Aye, there be orcs close, but it is my nose that tells me so. Going so long without learning the meaning of courtesy, my axe can be a willing teacher. Talk to the Gladream Archer. Another has come to the borders, Brados, uh, asking for you. Out of respect, Bra out of respect for you, Brados, as is a courtesy for the good you have done, I have been told to find you and send you to the eve of the woods. A stranger has arrived on the borders, and in, in such unusual times, such a visitor, Lothlorien, has only been seen once. This visitor is a dwarf. He is asking for you, Brados. What dwarf would willingly come to this place, where hospitality, hospitality to guests is unknown? Do not take it to heart, Gimli. Neither of our kindreds have been friendly for some time. He is welcome to come to Casa Doom if it pleases him. I will tie his blindfold myself. Ah, oh, it's Bosi from the expedition. Gimli? Glowing sun? That's not Bosi, is it? You're a long way from the Iron Heroes, Bosi. Things are not going well for the Iron Garrison in Casa Doom, Brados. Mazog still rules much of the deeps, and many of the levels are stronghold of Zabagothel, um, and many good dwarves have fallen to his forces. Some, like my own son Bori, are still captive, or worse. I cannot bear to think what torments uh, that may have suffered in the walls of Zabagothel. Still, some of the dwarves in the Iron Garrison struggle to reclaim the treasure, the hidden caverns, but for every beauty that is unearthed, two evils seem to spring forth from the deeps. Or from the depths. Oh, I can't read this morning. I have come to enlist the help of the ruler of the Elven Woods. If Celeborn of Lothlorien wishes to reap the benefits of friendship with the dwarves, he must reciprocate in kind. You are trusted by the elves, Bredos. Tell this warden the century of our plight. Perhaps they will listen to you. We will bring this dwarf to speak with Celeborn, uh, Celeborn, Brados, but you will be held responsible for him. You will be accountable for any of the, any and all of his actions while he remains in the Golden Wood. Come with us. I forget it's Celeborn, not Celeborn. The City of the Lord and Lady. For the sake of the Iron Garrison, I have put up with the indignity, indignity of being blindfolded during the passage here. Brados, but my people could teach the elves of this place some courtesy that were if they were to visit Casa Doom. Let us now see if the ill manners of the elves spring up from their lord. Spring from their lord. Such indignities will be forgiven, Celeborn. Will Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel are most gracious. They will listen to your request. But will they do more than listen, I wonder? It is said that the lady of these woods is is wields a terrible power and that no she is no friend of the dwarves said by those who know little or nothing about lady galadriel bosi her power lies in wisdom and in kindness for those who mistrust her this way please welcome to lothlorien bosi of the iron garrison I am at your service, Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel of Lorien. If you must, if you know of the Iron Garrison, you must know of the troubles that have befallen us. 
I know that one who care who I know that one who enters Moria should expect to find the troubles within. I should be surprised to learn that this was not the case. Would you say that this, would you say that the same would you say the same if it were your home that needed reclaiming? Was the danger that came to my home my own making? I thought the elves of Lothborium would be more courteous to their neighbors. But I see now that I was wrong, and you are content to live in seclusion unless until all else is destroyed. Perhaps you should tell us what hardships the Iron Garen faces within Moria, Bosi. Yes, well, so sh so I shall. Bredos has been a great help to us in the mines. We have won several battles against the orcs, but they always they return and in greater numbers. Our miners work to unearth new passages, but nameless creatures lurk within the most promising. And now my son Bori has been captured by Mazog, ensnared by the sorcery of Gorothul. Gorothul is known to me. I did not know he had left Mirkwood. I will send a number of the Gladrim to aid your people in their efforts, Bosi. The times are too dark for the friendship of our peoples to remain lapsed. Come here, Bredos. You too, Gimli. My lord's decision affects both of you as well. It affects you both as well. Come here. The lord, of, the lord of the Ladrum has much wisdom, and it is his wish that the dwarves not face the darkness of Khazad Doom unaided. So it will be, and so too, so you too shall stand with whatever lies, whatever evil lies beneath the mountains, Bredos, if this is your wish. It is time for you to leave, young one. There is much to be done. I, I would have the mines restored, but my road lies with Frodo. I wish I could help the Iron Garrison with their efforts in Casa Dune, Bredos. The mines have brought me great sadness, but I would have them restored, and the Iron Garrison will need able-bodied dwarves if this is to happen. But I cannot. My road lies with Frodo, and I will see this errand through before I return to the mines. I need... The need of the Iron Garrison is great, but glowing sun does not turn aside one charge to begin another. Gimli's brow furrows, and then his eyes lighten with wonderment. Okay, so let's see. A one-handed sword. I guess we'll take the runes. That's worth nine. That's worth nine. Let's see. These are only worth six. Um, yeah, I think I'll take these. I have made my get. decision. Right, we got a valiant height, Stria, valiant strike healing. We got enhancement points. Okay. Chapter four, a tense alliance. That is my decision. I will not abandon the quest in which I have been charged. I hope you give Bosi and the rest of the Iron Garrison the aid that I would have provided if I were there, Bredos. With an errand of this company, I am. When the errand of this company is finished, I hope to return to a reclaimed Moria, and your efforts will make that possible. Will help make that possible. Bosi said he will return to the Chamber of the Crossroads near Durin's Way in Moria. Go to him now and give him both re my regret and I cannot return. That I cannot now return and fervent good wishes for his success. Man, I have to go back into Moria. Urgh. Okay, let's turn these other quests in. These are the two I just finished, and they want us to do them again, so we're not going to do them again, though. Hail, what brings you to Lorien? You have returned. Please let me see what you have gathered. Wonderful, Bredos, wonderful. These supplies are of excellent quality. Perhaps you, too, have a little of the artist about you. It would be most welcome if you were returned and help me gather these ingredients while you were here. Perhaps I can stockpile enough to remove the need for another such trip in a good long time. Welcome to yeah, Lorien. May again. I have a word with you? No thanks. Alright, so we have to go back into Moria. Let's see. Moria. Yep. Okay, so I have. We can turn to 21st Hall. Little milestone over there. Milestone. Sometimes my southern accent comes out occasionally. Milestone.
these halls will be great once more. I need to go to the Chamber of the Crossroads. are my first dealings with Kelleborn. Welcome back to Casa Doom, Brados. I, I am disappointed that Gimli did not return with you, but I'm sure he had his own reasons. His father, Glorin, had been a long close friend of my father and Broger's father, and Gimli surely remains in honor of his forebears. This is my first dealings with Kelleborn of Lothorium, and I must confess I am not sure what to make of him. He has sent a number of elves to help us, and while I appreciate the assistance, they seem too eager to blame the dwarves for all the troubles, both present and past. They have established a camp within one of my dwarves, with one of my dwarves, Orvar Bellhammer, in a newly excavated passage of Durin's Way, uh, Buzun Gar. It is located at the very southeastern corner of Arka Bazan, uh, the southern wall, near the exit from those gardens. Uh, you will need to find Tarkoth Bazan to the northeast of this chamber. Yes, the tree-filled area on your map there. Journey there and lend Orvar your aid, as he is having difficulties getting along with the elves. Okay, where is this? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Alright, so I need to go to Takar Bazan. I think I have that. The shadow of Mordor will not I long do not. fill the horse of, of Casa Doom. I wonder if that's because I don't have Let's try to go to the 21st hall. I think I can go everywhere in Moria from there. I know there's a there's something with the VIP status. If you have if you pay, have the paid version, they allow you to have more. Um, at, at least the way I understand it, they allow you to have more swift travel options. So maybe that's the issue. I don't. Maybe These I don't halls have it. will be great once more. Oh, I do not have it. Okay. Mithra coin. Oh, I have to buy it. Okay. I know it's up here. What's closest to it? Uh, Zira Kazil and also Jazar Gund. Which one do I have? Dwarves oh, I have must fight for dwarves. I have Jazar Gund. I don't have the other one. Alright, we'll just go there. It's not that far. And I think we're doing okay on money. Where's my money? I thought it was here. It's not crafting. Nope, not system. It was in the bags, is not? Oh, it's under currencies. Let's see. Wallet. Here it is. Yeah, we have 73 gold, so we're, we're good if it, just to take, you know, goat rides and horse rides like this. Plus, I'm not really spending the gold on anything else. Pig is still funny. the trees. This is cool. Yeah, I've not seen this. Well, I have back in the day, but I don't remember it. I need to go over this direction. There we go. Stable master. These halls will be great once more. And let's see. Who do I need to talk to? He's down here. Oh, 
I thought that was a dwarf. <laughs> I thought for sure there was a dwarf sitting there. Ah, uh, come on. Pull the wrong one out. Uh, dismiss. Blade Brother turned on again. Yeah, when you use a milestone, it uh, it gets rid of, it drops my herald, my pet. You have to resummon him. Is he in here? Yeah, here he is. There was nothing on the map showing that except the, the, the overall map. This cavern was recently unearthed, and the gardens here still thrive. I'm glad you were here, Brados. These elves have been sent by Kelleborn for the purpose of helping us drive the evil out of Khazadum, so they say. But they seem much more interested in casting blame than doing anything helpful. Uh, blame about than doing anything helpful. These cavern, this cavern, Bazungar, was found shortly after you departed, and many of my folk were impressed by the state of it. The gardens still thrive. At least up here they do. Something rots and corrupts the plant life as you descend. But while we can use some real help in clearing the caves of danger, instead the, el the elves spoke of digging too deeply and disturbing things best left undisturbed. If this is the best Celeborn has to offer, I'd rather keep him. I'd rather he kept them in the woods. You talk to Corunthiel, uh, Brados, Corunthiel, uh, and see if and see if I am wrong. You'll see that I am not. Some evil lives at the bottom of Buzungar, and it corrupts the gardens here. Listen to me, Brados, for this Orvar will not listen for some reason. Some evil lives at the bottom of this cavern, and it is the place not sealed away from evil. And if this place is not sealed away from the evil, the evil may oh, If this place is not sealed away, the evil may spread. This is always the way of the dwarves. Why must they go digging into places they were not meant to go? While they will not be, will they, will they not be satisfied until no evil remains beneath the stone, and all have come to the surface and lay waste to the homes of the elves and other good people? What has drawn the Globsnogger to this cavern? If Orvar were not listened to reason and collapse the only entrance to this passage, sealing the corruption within, we must find the source and destroy it. Speak to Nephilim, Nepheleg about finding the source and dealing with it. We have seen the Globsnaga orcs deeper in Bazungundur, Bazungar, uh, and fear that they will not they will soon climb up to this place. Having have they been corrupted by the willing, wilting rot, or is this something other cause? Is there some other cause to their affliction? These questions are secondary to the most important matter, Brados, that they be defeated before they can do us any harm. Destroy them as you undertake Nephilim's scheme for cleansing the source of the wilting rot. All right, let's talk to this guy. The rot that pervades Buzungar is not of the natural world. Bredos, uh, and gives us the duty of removing it, and that gives us the duty of, re of removing it. If Orvar will not listen to our advice and seal the passage, we must destroy the source of the wilting rot before it escapes into wider Moria and becomes a much greater threat. I believe I have some means to do this, Bredos. This barrel will, get, will catch pure light, and even in the most dim, it will reflect it upon the, upon the corruptive walls of the passage. If you place it on the stone in the deepest area of Bazungar, it will be like a beacon to the evil of the rot, drawing forth whatever lies beyond, behind the wilting rot in agony. At that time, you must destroy the source of the rot, but use caution. You must remain close to the barrel or its effects will not serve to weaken the master of the rot, whatever it may be. Okay, so we have to help the rot before it reaches this uh, garden. All right, we only have about 10 minutes left, and I'm running out of... Uh... Oh, I have to go back in here. I have to go to work soon. Don't know if I want to start this right now. Do I want to wait? Ah, eh, we can always just log off wherever. In this game, it's not like there's no end, basically. I don't get rested XP by going back to town.
way to go here. Um, maybe across this area? Ah. Oh, here it is. Ancient evil. Looks like a giant crab. Nope, that's not a crab. That's all the skirmishers. I think that's it. That's what we needed. So what's the thing that makes me run faster? I thought there was a make haste, I think is what it's called. Yeah. go down. I want to go up. Oh. Okay, that did not have work. Yeah, we're going to turn this in, then we'll call it an episode, guys. Wait, I just... Came up through there. What is happening here? That's the way I came in, isn't it? It's like it's not loading. It won't let me back up through there. Oh, Tulin awaits you atop the flat at Simmer or off. Oh, that's that's not the right one. Hang on. Alright, I'm really confused here. And where is Harold? How did I lose him? I must have got stuck somewhere. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is the way out. Alright, this looks more promising. We found it. <laughs> I got really confused there, guys. I was hitting that black wall, and I was like, man, I can't go anywhere. Growloon the Kyrog is right. defeated. We are fortunate, Brados. The Gwalroon the Kyrog, uh, diminished as already he was, uh, could be weakened further by the light of the barrel uh, that you used to draw him forth. No longer will his presence scar the gardens of Bazungar, uh, Bazungar or spread into the wider Moria. I worry that more and stronger of his kind may lurk in the deep places, but there is little enough we can do if that is true. I am delighted that you helped to fight the source of this rock, Bredos. May the dwarves learn a lesson from this. Alright, we'll take, uh, yeah, we'll take the blue to the golden wood. That's probably an upgrade if I had to guess. Do, 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 do. 53 and 60. Yeah, we'll put those on.
Open that, open that. All right, let's talk to her and it then we'll call her. It will be some time episode. before these gardens recover, but recover yep. they will. It will be some time before the plants and gardens within Bazoon Gar will be restored, but but your defeat of Graloon, the Karag, will make it possible wherever it, where it was not before. You've done well, Brados, and I'm pleased that you have helped to save the dwarves from their own hard-headed determination to delve wherever they should not. A dwarf of the Iron Garrison came to speak with Orbar while you were in the depths. I believe he had a message for you. That was no great task for you, was it? Well, Brados, this, that nothing. was no great task, was it? Why should Coranthol and Nephil, Nephilgilg, uh, Nephileg uh, worry about so greatly about sealing away Bazungar when you are so ably defeated Gwarun the Karag, the Karag. And now this passage can be of great benefit to the dwarves. Broin has not been the messenger sent by Broin was very turned. clear that we should first deal with the corruption within Bazungar. Uh, Bazungar. Yet once that was done, the mas his master de desired greatly that you visit him again on the peaceful path located in the mustering hall east of Sunul Doom and west of the stone hall here in Durin's Way. The entrance to the peaceful path is northeast of Bazoon Gar. If you allow me this, Brados, I must tell you that Broin has not been the same since you re returned him to us. It is no fault of his own, for he endured much in the watery den of the Watcher. Curse his name. But the son of Brogur may now be a little touched in, a little touched in the head, and then. To lose his own cousin Bori to the forces of Mazog, it cannot have helped. Treat him kindly and with patience, Bredos, but if the request make of you seem a little peculiar, you will at least know the cause. Alright, we're going to call it an episode here, guys, and I will make our way over and talk to Broin uh, next time in our next episode. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I, uh, I really hope you enjoy Lord of the Rings Online coming back to the channel or well, this new channel, Captain Dead Eye Gaming, and uh, we will pick it up here next time. But until then... Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time.